maybe you can start by telling me what led up to you having a surgery. Actually, it was a long wait that caused a lead up to my having surgery. I was age 60 when it was when I first started having problems with my hip and it deteriorated over a long period of time until at the age of 69 they decided that at bone on bone there was no alternative for me other than to have a full left hip replacement which was duly done in June 2017. Initially the hip replacement went extremely well until four months in I started getting severe pain on the left hand side which was very different from the hip pain that I'd actually had and it turned out to be inflammation, uh, I think they called it bursitis and also tendonitis. And when you, um, when you started to experience that, how did the medical profession were, were, were they able to help at all with that problem? Well I did go back and see the consultant um, complaining fairly bitterly because life was pretty miserable and they checked me out and decided that there was quite a lot of inflammation there. He did explain that 95% of people sail through this operation and 2% probably get bursitis and 2% get ten or tendonitis and I was one of the unfortunate 1% that managed to get both. So I was extremely uncomfortable for a long period of time. I kept going backwards and forwards for appointments and in the end they decided to do um, cortisone injections. And I had three cortisone inject injections over a period of nine months and it brought me very little relief. In fact the first and the third one brought me no relief at all. Uh, the second one did but only for a period of about a month and then I was back in precisely the same state that I was in. So there was a point when I mentioned to Terry about this work that I was involved with and this new technology um, on a medical device and Terry said, explained to me that you were in a lot of pain and which I hadn't appreciated and that possibly um, this sounded good and maybe it would be good for you so maybe you could just explain how that once you got to know about it how this development worked for you. Uh, yes, was, we were introduced through yourself and to be perfectly honest it was the first lifeline that had been thrown through me in months. I, I met Mihai, the physiotherapist who came on board, uh, found out a lot more about my condition and what I was suffering from and then told me what he was going to try and do and how it might help and within a very short period of time, uh, it's an hour's treatment at a time before my diet had consisted mainly of painkillers and anti-inflammatories and I got an immediate relief from even the first treatment. After that first treatment, how many treatments did you have in total? Did he come to the boat each time? No, no. Uh, after the first one, I went to him at um, a, a, a practice in Hillingdon called Adele's and Mihai works out of there and I started to go once a week but only for four weeks and each treatment I just got progressively better and better until within two weeks of that I wasn't taking any painkillers at all and I just found it the most amazing life-changing experience and I'm so glad that you and my husband had that conversation because it really had has changed my life in a very short period of time I really did I was approaching the stage, I think, where I thought I was going to be disabled for the rest of my life, or certainly with a, a disability that I hadn't had before I'd had the hip replacement. And it really did transform my life in a short period of time. I just can't speak highly enough. And that is down to my way of thinking, to the physiotherapist who understood what it was I needed, the physiotherapy that he performed around using this cellular electrotherapy treatment and it was just a combination of everything and for me it worked in a really really short period of time. Thank you.